All right, so he just dropped off this one piece right here. And I, I swear to you guys, bro, I thought I was getting lucky again. I thought that this was going to be the only piece that I had to take. But he said there's three more of them, um, 18 feet long, all going to be together. I think I also do have to tarp these. So that first load from the um, from my first video of last week, that with the red tarp over it, that was 4000 going from Laredo, Texas, all the way up to Washington, Tacoma, Washington. Now, granted, guys, we could have put more up there, but we didn't have the opportunity or the time to do it because it was Friday. We got booked Friday, right? So we couldn't put nothing else up there. So I drove 2,200 miles to get to Tacoma, Washington from Laredo, Texas. I drove 2,200 miles. I dropped off Monday. That's 4000 right? Four. 4000 then Tuesday, we picked up this load right here. This load by itself, we picked up on Tuesday. This was 3,000, okay? So four plus three, what is that, guys? That's seven, correct? All right, so we got 7,000 so far, right? And that's just these two very small loads. Now we got this load right here, which is one piece, two piece. Actually, it's two pieces right here. One piece, one piece. So it's four pieces, right? Less than 1,000 pounds, okay? So we got those pieces right there. That's paying, I believe that was 1800 So now we got seven plus 18. What we got right there, right? That's 888, that's $8,800, okay? Seven plus 18 is $8,800, right? Plus this load right here, this is 15. So 8,800 plus 15 is what? Everybody do the math. Everybody do the math. I'll give you a second, I'll give you a second. $10,300. So in one week, I had to do a little bit of driving, anywhere between, I'm gonna do that, I think it's actually around, roughly around close to 5,100 miles, I think it's 5,000 miles. We made $10,000. Now, people are gonna say, yo, you barely scratched the surface of $2 a mile. It's probably like $1.90, maybe $1.80, a high $1.80, a low $1.90. But with everything being said, this was not a week for me to bust my ass and go crazy. This was a week for me to enjoy. I went on vacation. Okay, I got some content for you guys. Where did we go? We went to Cali. We went to Washington. We went up in the mountains. Um, we, got, we went to a cool truck wash. We, ate, we had some amazing food. I got a couple good hotels. Um, I was on vacation. Only thing I did not do was go to the beach or explore LA. But other than that, I was still working, right? So I made $10,000 while working and I drove around the country, had a little vacation. It doesn't get any better than that. So first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some edge protectors. I was gonna move the other one over. Okay, yeah. It looks like it was this one's further in on the trailer. Actually, this one's kind of just come back a little bit, just come back a tad bit, okay? And then just push that one over to straighten it out. Can you do that? Um, I'm putting these in the front so that way, because what he was gonna do, he was gonna stack them high up, and I, there's no point in doing that. Just to make the tarp job easier for me, I'm going to put these two together and then take that piece over there and then put it in the middle right here. That? Yep, keep coming, keep coming. We got our edge protectors, correct? So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put one just like that and then on the other side, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna go ahead and put the strap, run this strap right here, okay? Out of back. I'm gonna show y'all that I ain't, I ain't just no big dude. I can hop around, I can move now. I'm agile now. So I'm put my straps, I'm gonna put my edge protectors right here. The reason for that being is because you see how it is not lining up. This way it'll keep my straps from getting torn up.
All right, so we got new straps, brand new straps, ain't even been used yet. I wasn't gonna do it with the whole trailer, but I figured I'd just take my time and piece by piece. So right now, one needs to go right here, so. Yo, I ain't even gonna lie. Um, <laughs> the rest of this video, I'm just gonna talk to you guys. Um, I don't know what I was doing. I think I was actually, I was really tired. I know it was when I was really tired. I know it was only about six minutes for you guys watching this, but like, it was like 30 minutes to an hour doing this. So I was tired. Like, look how I throw this right here. <laughs> like, no care, bro. Although they're taking my sweet time. You got a bungee both sides, man. So you got to start from the front on both sides and work your way down on both sides. Look at that. <laughs> Boy, what am I doing? First of all, let's talk about this. Look what I'm wearing. That's how you know I'm tired. But I showed up to the job site looking like that. I bust my ass. Look how lazy I threw that over there. Key point though, you see how I, I strapped the tarp down like that? You got, I did that because I ran out of bungees right there, so I had to make sure I strapped that part of the tarp down so I could hold it down. Tucking it in so it won't flap, especially if it be on the end of the trailer like that. I didn't want it to flap, so I made sure I tucked it in. Guys, please, look, look at my wardrobe, man. Please don't be out here wearing stuff like this, man. I think I was just tired. I was, uh, I just, I probably was just done. Didn't think I was going to get a load, and I don't know. I, I can't make up no excuse. I don't know why I'm wearing that. All right, key thing is, to you see how I'm folding that in? That is a good way to secure your strap so it won't be flapping in the air or you won't lose them or, you know, whatever. Appreciate you guys for watching the video, man. I hope you guys loved it, man. Subscribe. I've been doing my thing. I can't stay the same.